All right, folks, today I've got to change the transmission fluid on our Honda HRV. Uh, this is a 2017 two wheel drive model, but should be just about the same for any of your two wheel drive HRVs uh, from any of the generation 2016 through I think 2022. Um, doing this is recommended every 30,000 miles, and I think we're a bit overdue. But as far as the things you need, the dealership quoted me 4.2 quarts of this HCF2 transmission fluid. Let's see if they give us a part number on here. Yep, 08200-HCF2. Uh, 4.2, so you gotta buy five. And then they give you the, the little O-ring there for I think 50 cents, so you might as well pick that up so you can try to avoid any leaks. That cost me about $82 um, for all of that. You're also going to need a long funnel to pour the fluid in. The only tool you're gonna need is just a 3 8 inch ratchet. You will want a bucket or something to catch the old fluid in. You don't need ramps. You can absolutely do it by just reaching under the car, um, but it does make it easier if you got a jack or jack stands or a set of ramps. Uh, and since we're filming the video, we're gonna raise the car up and then because it is a little bit of a messy job, we're going to throw a set of gloves on and try to keep our hands clean. All right, to start off with, let's pop the hood. All right, so before we get under the car at all, you're going to want to remove the fill plug. It's a little difficult to see, and if you have big hands, it may be necessary to remove this uh, piece of air duct but most of us should be able to get it. Now it's a little hook piece. It's like a literal, like a right angled hook. And let's see if I can get it in the camera shot. All right, so it's right there in the center of your screen. Now the easiest way for me to get to it is to reach my hand around this way. So that may be easier for you too. Let's see if I can show you. It does just pull straight out and you're going to make sure you don't want to drop it. So that's the hook shape I was telling you about, and that's the plug. Now you do want to remove this before you drain it, um, because if you don't, the fluid's going to like glub, 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 glub out. Um, so this should prevent a little extra mess and hopefully drain a little quicker. Uh, but once you get that pulled out, now we can go under the car. Okay, so looking from the front of the car, this is the front driver's side right here. There is a small cutout in the plastic from the outside looking in. And this is the drain plug uh, right here for the transmission fluid that we'll be having to turn counterclockwise to take it off. And as you can see, it just takes a 3 8 inch drive ratchet. So you'll want to set your ratchet before you put it on there to counterclockwise so you can unscrew it. Shouldn't take much force to break it loose. And make sure you have your pan set up and we're going to go ahead and drain all this fluid out. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. All right. Pull that out. And this is going to be a little bit messy. go I'm just going to want to give that a few minutes to entirely and fully drain out and while we let that drain I'm going to go clean off this uh, drain plug
All right, once you're down to about a dribble, you can put this back in. Uh, there it is, a little bit cleaned up. And we're gonna go ahead and change out these uh, washers just because it can help prevent future problems and it's like 45 cents or something, so we might as well. We're gonna let that drain out for a couple more seconds and then just replace this plug. I think we're about good enough to plug this back in, so let's go ahead and hand thread it at the beginning. Uh, make sure your ratchet is switched over to clockwise and then we'll tighten it up from there. Now I couldn't find a published torque spec on this. My local dealership would not give it to me. Um, but other models seem to be around 32 or 36 pounds. So we're gonna try and feel it around there. You definitely don't want to uh, over tighten it. I have seen reports about the housing cracking. So you definitely don't over tighten it. Right about there should be good for us take a few minutes to uh, clean up the work area because we did make a little bit of a mess and then we can uh, put the lower cover on and get up top and refill before we put the cover on for the record there is a fill level indicator right here that you can pull off and then fill from the top and when it starts overflowing out of this plug then you know you've got the correct amount. Uh, we're just going to put in the, the the correct amount the dealership says we're supposed to have in there. Um, there's no dipstick, and per my local dealership, there is no serviceable um, filter for the CVT transmissions uh, as part of the 30,000 mile fluid change. So you can do that if you want to. We're just going to put the 4.2 quarts in as they prescribed. Um, let's put the cover on and then get back up top. All right, back on top of the car, let's finish this up. You're gonna wanna grab your funnel, make sure it's nice and clean and that there is nothing in there. Ours is new, so we don't have any problem with that. Make sure to get it all the way into the hole and uh, don't knock anything in there while you're getting it in there. So let's just get it set up. Should go right in. All right, we are in there and seated. Kinda hard to see, but we're in there. Now, the trick to doing this is just to take your time and go slow. It does have to breathe while you're pouring it, so let's grab our fluid and start putting it in. Alright, you don't want to go too fast because you don't want to have anything spill out of the bottom and or come out of the top as well. Or splash back like that. Okay, that's the first bottle. Okay, here is bottle number two. Now again, there is no dipstick to check on this. You can check it the way I showed you earlier um, if you really want to go through all that trouble. Uh, you could also measure what came out and just replace it with that same amount. Um, but again, the dealership quoted 4.2 quarts, so we are going to put just that much in there. That's number two. Now you're likely going to be want to doing this when the car is cold because fluids do expand and contract so if you're going to measure the fluid when you pull it out to replace it with that much make sure you're doing it when the car is cold and you won't burn yourself as much either but that way you can get the accurate amount of fluid to put back in there that's the fourth bottle now we just need 0.2 out of the fifth one 
Now, fortunately, they've got it just about broken down into fifths, um, 946 milliliters, so just about a thousand, and they got it broken down to 200. So we really just need to get just under the 800 mark um, on this particular bottle, and that'll give us our 0.2 quarts we need. That should do it. All right, once it's all drained in there, go ahead and pull your funnel out. Get that out of the way. And don't forget whatever you do to put your plug back in because stuff can get in there. And I have seen cars that are missing this. So make sure you get this plugged in there nice and snug so that it keeps anything out of there. And again, that one was just a little tricky to get to. But you can kind of reach in there and get it. All right, just barely got our fingers in there. And it's just a press fit again. So just push it all the way on, just like that. And you should be good to go. All right, that's gonna do it. Again, the CVT transmission fluid change on the Honda HRV, not too bad of a job. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, please leave a comment on the bottom if you got the job done or even hit the subscribe button. It would help my family out a lot. Thanks a bunch.